So what a country arc is near its end. And the real magic of the arc starts now. All kind of nail biting information we're waiting for is gonna reveal within quick successions. We wanna know what happened to Sabo on the reverie, how Boa Hancock is doing, how powerful the new pacifists are, the proper interaction of Admiral Greenwald, more exposure of Imosama and the Gorosei, and of course Dr. Vegapunk. But today I'm gonna talk about a specific yet a very important event. Important for the Straw Hats and us, the readers. In the whole Island arc, Luffy recruited Jinbei as the houseman of his crew. Luffy likes his Jinbei very much. The kind of relationship he has with Jinbei is unique. We rarely saw Luffy fooling around when he's with Jinbei. He's always serious. Well, actually, Luffy met Jinbei during one of his darkest moments. From Impal Town to Marineford to Ruskina Island, Jinbei helped Luffy with everything he got. The kind of support and encouragement he showed to Luffy is beyond words. So he wanted him in his crew. He wanted him because he likes his character, kindness, and compassion. On Fishman Island, he officially asked him to join his crew, and he got the answer on the whole big island, but he joined with the rest of the Straw Hats in Wano Country. He's the 10th member of the Straw Hat Pirate crew. Everyone wanted to celebrate Jinbei joining the crew, but Luffy postponed it. So it suggests that we'll get a couple of Straw Hats in this arc. In an SBS, Oda responded to one of the reader's questions saying, you'll have to become the 12th Straw Hat. So it means we'll get two more members in the Straw Hat Pirate crew. As for which two, I think you already have your answer. The first one is, Yamato. She always wanted to sail the sea and follow Kozuki Oden's footsteps. So how can she follow his footsteps if she doesn't leave Wano country and go to Laugh Tale? Portugal's D Ace and Yamato were friends. So she knows about Luffy from Ace. Even though she ate Mythical Zone that represents Wano Country's guardian deity, she'll still follow Luffy. I'm sure her devil fruit ability is vital for what's to come after Luffy becomes the Pirate King. Now, will Momonosuke become the 12th member of the crew? Well, Momonosuke wants to be the Shogun of Wano Country, but I have to remember, he's still 8 years old. Sure, physically, he's 28, but mentally? He's only a child. I agree, for an 8 year old kid, he went through a lot. I mean, he lost his parents, lost his sister, lost his way to Zoe, and ended up on an unfamiliar island called Punk Hazard. And then he got betrayed by one of his close subordinates. He had to carry the burden of Kozuki clan and the hopes of one country. It's too much of a burden for a child. Yet, he didn't even flinch when facing a Yonko and his commanders. Even though he has grown physically, he's still a kid, a 28 year old kid. If he joins the crew, it will be fun. I mean, now we'll see if Nami and Robin let him fondle or bath together during their bathing time. I think it will serve as a comic relief. I can imagine Sanji's jealous and angry looks, but probably wouldn't have the chance to see this thrilling incident. 20 years of occupation and injustice dealt a devastating blow to one country and its people. They need someone to steer them out of their sticky situation. Momonosuke is their only hope. A hope for the revival of the country of samurai. Odin left the country and it gave Kaido and Orochi an opportunity. I don't know if Odin ever regretted his decision. I mean the decision of leaving Wano country. Now if Momonosuke repeats the same mistake and leaves the people when they need him the most, he'll be unacceptable. Even though he's not experienced with the politics, I'm really surprised that he decided not to open the border of Wano country to the foreigners. I think it's a very good decision. I mean the reason Odin wanted to open the border of Wano country is already a Achieved. Joy Boy has returned, so there's no point in opening the border of Wano Country when they aren't yet ready. I mean, ready to take on the world government. The last panel of chapter 1050 suggests that Kyoshiro is about to say Kozuki Hyuri will be the new shogun of Wano Country. Well, it could work, but I don't think a feudal Japan is ready for a female shogun. But hey, it doesn't matter. She might be better at politics than her brother. I like either way. One of the reasons Kaido was disappointed with Momonosuke was because he was a coward and crybaby. He doesn't know the way of the swords. If he joins the Straw Hats, Zoro could teach him swordsmanship. I mean, who could be a better teacher than the future strongest swordsman, right? I don't mind him joining the Straw Hats along with Yamato. By the way I see it, he might stay in Wano and strengthen the country and its people. And with the support of Junesha, Wano's border is secured. So, do you think Momonosuke and Yamato will join the crew together? Comment down below. Like the video if you did and subscribe to my channel for more. Hit the notification bell icon for updates. Thanks for watching.